Okay, we kind of want to get situated here. To my left is north. So the sun comes up in the east and this gets a little morning sun and then it passes on over and it doesn't get any afternoon sun or anything. There's really enough sunlight to grow fescue here, but it sure doesn't hurt to help it out a little bit. By that I mean this tree could do without a lot of these lower branches. So when you look up in this tree, you could cut a lot of these branches off and when you look through the tree, there's just so much thickness there of smaller limbs that there's not really not any reason for them. So thinning out the canopy of a tree is really beneficial when you just barely got enough sunlight for something to grow. And uh, I don't think that's the problem here, but it, it, you really got to manage everything underneath the tree to where you, you optimize the chances of it, uh, the, the grass being able to compete with the tree. Uh, you're on a slope here, so a lot of times a hard rain is just going to wash off anyway. So, um, you know, it's, it's a good healthy tree. They've done a lot of things around and should be able to grow grass underneath it. Just needs to be trimmed up and by that, when you look into this tree, anything that's not over about a four inch diameter branch, I would say just take it off back at the, at the trunk of the tree. And anything that is falling down from up above, take it out. <laughs> of course, always want to mention safety and don't get into something that you don't feel comfortable with. Uh, that's what they make pole saws and things like that for or get a, an arborist to get up in there and really thin the tree out and if you have any questions about what could or couldn't go why usually it's better to leave it but if you've got an arborist they'll be able to tell you uh, what you you should and shouldn't do taking the tree things out of it one thing you never want to do is just dehorn a tree or top it because there's a lot of things going on in this tree and whenever you do that, a lot of the hormones and growth auxins and things like that, that puts them into stress. The tree doesn't know what to do. Yeah, it'll put out a little bit of new growth, but it won't last very long after that. So we don't definitely don't want to do that, but we can trim this up a lot and help our, our fescue. There are a number of things other that we want to do to help this fescue that's going to be growing under this tree. Remember we talked about pull a soil sample, uh, rough up the ground a little bit, amend the soil, do whatever you need to there and then put some, some uh, fescue seed or some fescue sod out. I would recommend the, the sod just because of the situation here. Roll it in and water it. But when you're when you've done all that, the management of your fescue is just as important as all that that we've just talked about. First off, you want to keep in mind that fescue adds to its root growth or its root mass in the fall uh, with uh, the radioactive things that they do in plants these days, they've been able to trace that in the fall is when the, the fescue is adding to its root growth. So we want to make sure in the fall that we've got good fertility, not excess fertility, but good fertility, and we've got good moisture and we take advantage of the sunlight that we get in the fall. Now that doesn't mean that we don't do that all year round, but we want to try to build as strong a roots as possible so if it happens to be real dry in the fall or if the leaves come off early we need to go ahead and and mow them up get them out of the way so that the fescue can have all the sunlight that it can get in the fall with all the proper growing conditions to really add to its root growth <laughs> now all through the year you want to mow the fescue as tall as possible. Now when I say as tall as possible, I'm talking about three inches. Just don't mow it below three inches. Let that fescue have as much leaf area as possible and uh, be able to photosynthesize and add to those roots and not be stressed by being mowed off short. Fescue really doesn't need that. If you have a weed problem in fescue, deal with it either mechanically by pulling it out or deal with it with herbicides but don't mow it off short to try to kill the weeds out because you'll end up harming your fescue more than you do the weeds. <laughs> Another thing with fescue is in the summer make sure that it doesn't get so dry that it can't continue to at least stay alive. 
in, in this area of the state, we have most summers where we can take care of fescue, tolerate it, take care of it. But every now and then we'll get into a hot, hot, dry summer, one or two years out of 10. And you need to make sure that you do water your fescue. It won't go dormant and recoup without having root damage quite like Bermuda grass will. So a little bit of management, a little bit of proper things, staying off of it, and I think uh, trim this tree up some and there's a pretty good chance to have a, a real nice fescue uh, lawn right here. <laughs>